Hello, good morning to everyone. My name is Rita Alcair. I'm a researcher in the Uncover project, and I'll be hosting this session. This is the public presentation of the Uncover Sexual Violence in the Portuguese Mediascape project. And we have three presentations today. The co-PIs of the project, Sofia José Santos and Julia Gajai, who are here, and our invited speaker, Karen Boyle. We are going to hear from the co-PIs about the project and about a chapter that is connected to this uh, subject area. And then Karen Boyle will, will be presenting the book that this, this chapter is part of. So we're going to start now with Sofia José Santos, who will be presenting the project. Thank you so much, Rita. And thank you all for joining our first seminar of the Uncover project. Okay, so we're here to present our project, which is called Uncover Sexual Violence in Portuguese Mediascape. And it's a project that is funded by the Foundation for Science and Technology uh, and is hosted at SESH, the Center for Social Studies, University of Coimbra. And uh, Uncover, although the research on sexual violence in Portugal has been or is existing, so it has existed for long, Uncover is the first ever comprehensive transdisciplinary study about sexual violence in the Portuguese mediascape. So this is the originality, one of the originalities of the project. And uh, the Uncover originated uh, its research uh, in the research and collecting of information stages of our previous project, which is, was also funded by the Foundation for Science and Technology, which was called Decodem. And Decodem was focused on the articulation of media and masculinities in the Portuguese mediascape. And we had six different thematic areas. One of the thematic areas and the most productive was actually Me Too. And so uh, within the discussions on the Me Too, we decided that we wanted to make another project and a project that was really specifically focused on sexual violence. And that's where the Uncover um, originated. And here we are today with our Uncover project. And of course, Uncover's um, research is a feminist research, uh, intersectional transdisciplinary research. And it departs, it stems from three main assumptions that are widely covered by different um, theories, by different authors and different theoretical uh, disciplinary and interdisciplinary lenses. The first one is that sexual violence is a gendered phenomenon framed by notions and imaginaries of sexual normalization normativity, masculinity, femininity, and power dynamics. And when transported to discourse, it is often a figure for other social, political, economic concerns and tensions. Um, the second one is that patterns of media visibility can serve political agenda, generate moral panic, be a marker of social racialized exclusion, or promote gender justice and equality. And the final one is that gender approaches to social phenomena should adopt intersectional lenses. And so based on these assumptions, what our project wants to explore is mainly two ideas, two complex ideas. First is to understand how the media reported, discussed, and imagined sexual violence. And this means that the performative discursive relationship between the stories and the context events which made sexual violence visible while exploring the structures of power that underpin media representations and agencies. And the second focus is on audiences. And specifically, we want to examine how audiences interacted with these media narratives. This means how media narratives were appropriated and reinterpreted by audiences, hence addressing their agency in reproducing cultural imaginaries and or in contributing to social change. So there is always this double path with lots of nuances in each one of them. And we want to explore if they can promote social change or if can promote um, patriarchy, but also the nuances and the gray areas in between. So in a nutshell, Uncover explores the centrality of the media's mediation of sexual violence and also the mediated causes, processes and effects of sexual violence. How can we do that? What are our main methodology or at least our uh, macro structure, macro methodological structure. 
Uh, in terms of time span, we focus from two, in 10 years, from 2011 to 2021. And the time span that we chose is a time span that starts with the Istanbul Convention, which is a legal political landmark in the prevention of gender-based violence. But throughout this decade, it's also important to note there were important institutional interventions and movements aimed at combating the impunity of sexual violence. At the same time, gender norms and jurisprudence underwent major changes in the last decades. Growing public awareness and vast research have contributed to increasing knowledge on sexual violence. And all of this made significant media visit, increasingly significant media visibility of sexual violence. And so we thought that with all these trends and with all these ingredients, this would be an interesting decade in order to understand you know, progress and backlash and also explore nuances in terms of the coverage of sexual violence and the impact of that, that, that coverage on societal at lar in large. Um, we chose to uh, zoom into uh, the case of Portugal. So we look at specifically the case of Portugal and why Portugal. So the two, the, the the main snapshot of Portugal in terms of sexual violence, it's an interesting one already, which is a country on pair with the EU in terms of legislation concerning gender equality, com with compliance towards international regimes of protection of human rights. And however, despite all of that, sexual violence remains pervasive in Portuguese society. So this is the first reason. The second reason is its semi-peripheral country allow us to explore different uh, ideas and different power trends uh, in terms of uh, how the media portray sexual violence and the impact in society. Uh, Portugal is a country whose embeddedness in the international media production and consumption opens up for the possibility of examination and re-evaluation of the processes of deconstruction reconstructing and reproducing narratives of sexual violence and allows for the assessment of the effects of the international developments in the local coverage, debates, imaginaries and realities of a semi-peripheral Western European democracy. So we can also understand larger structures of power that allow this kind of sexual violence uh, portrayal and imaginaries to be uh, pervasive in society. We do this in terms of what if we define as for clusters. We focus on representations, on audiences, on media production, and on key stakeholders. So in terms of representations, we were going to focus on digital media, press, and TV, both information and entertainment. And we're going to use different methodologies concerning the different, uh, um, the different areas where we're focusing and where we're doing our field work. Critical discourse analysis, content analysis, frame analysis, and audiovisual semiotic analysis. Concerning audiences, we're mainly focusing and doing our field work through focus group analysis. And in terms of production, so with editors, journalists, um, filmmakers, cartoonists, we're going to focus, do in-depth interviews, as well as with key stakeholders in order to help us navigate the data that we collected and also their own experiences in terms of the media coverage of sexual violence. Concerning outputs, we have a different uh, palette of uh, outputs, from, ranges from books to conferences, to dissertation and theses, to toolkits, uh, to engage uh, op open edit opinion editorial, sorry, and podcasts. So we have both in academic uh, outputs, um, engaging with community outputs, um, and also um, policymakers' uh, outputs. So we envision that our uncover impact is going to be focused on three levels academic, political, social, and cultural. And this is one of our aims of the project. We don't want to get stuck in academia. We want to produce academic knowledge, but also to engage these people, the people outside academia, academia, but are very important for the impact of the project to participate in the project and to be part in the outputs, both as key players and also in terms of audiences. So we're trying to make this 
uh, what we discovered in terms of academic knowledge to be accessible to a wider public, but also to that wider public to participate in some parts of the um, uncovered production of knowledge. Um, in terms of team, we have a very interdisciplinary team, uh, which is um, both composed by both national and international uh, team members in the form of researcher or consultants. Um, we also have a, a very horizontal, um, a horizontal uh, way of uh, dealing with it, the researcher teams. So all the team is very horizontal. Um, in terms of, um, we have two leading people, which is Julia Gahayu and myself. Uh, and we also want to, we also are developing a code of ethics in terms of our project, which is, which adopts a very feminist and horizontal perspective on how to produce data, how to produce um, knowledge, and in order to respect uh, all people at different levels of their career. So we also have this concern in terms of um, as a, a research project. Uh, today we're going to have, we'll soon have, sorry, we'll soon have a website where you can uh, where you can um, follow our project. We will also be participant in the, um, social media, so you can also for will you can soon follow us on social media. And today we're going to have a very glimpse of some of the works we have already done in within the previous project and already this uh, uncovered project uh, with the um, the chapter for the companion Rutledge companion. Thank you so much.